d the probability distribution function mainly the discrete one and how to calculate the mean and variance of any discrete distribution function and then at the end we will study the famous discrete distribution function that is binomial distribution function so theref therefore we consider a distribution that is uh the marx distribution of a uh, of of a class supposed to be n1 students get m1 marks in a particular examination or test n2 n2 students get m m2 marks and in this way n3 students gets m3 marks and n dot dot, dot n n students get m n marks so uh, what is the average marks average marks can be calculated as this way n1 m1 n1 times m1 plus n2 times m2 and dot 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 n n times m n divided by n1 plus n2 plus dot dot n n n and this is denoted by angle bracket m or m over bar and this can be written in a very simpler way uh, sum over i equals to 1 to n this is summed over the repeated index summed over basically n i m i and divide and sum over n i this is the basic definition of the average or mean values or expectation value and sometimes it is called the expectation value of m in statistics uh, the word used the word expectation is used very much and this is this can be written in a in a, in a different way n1 divided by the sum over n1 plus n2 plus dot dot n n n1 divided by sum over n i times m1 plus n2 divided by sum over n i in times m2 and dot 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 n n divided by sum over n i m n and this marked the the rounded quantity and this quantity is p1 denoted by p1 what is p1 basically the probability of getting the marks m1 and in this way p2 is the probability of getting the marks m2 and pn is the probability of mark, marks uh, m n probability of getting the marks m n suppose it is uh, so therefore therefore m average or angle bracket m can be written as equal to 1 to n pi mi this is our main equation for calculating mean and here pi is known as discrete probability distribution function distribution here, function and mi is a discrete random variable because the marks mi can be anything the marks mi can be anything from suppose the uh, suppose the test is within 0 to 100 and it is rounded uh, ev every marks is rounded to whole number that means 0 1 2 3 and dot 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 100 this any value that can take the mi can take any value and pi is the probability of getting marks 0 1 2 or etc etc pi is the term pi as a function of mi basically because mi is the discrete discrete random variable and pi is the discrete distribution function which is in statistics which is also known as probability mass function pmf it is a more formal name and if we want to calculate m square in this way m square can be written as m square m and m square angle bracket and recipe is the same pi the if we know the probability distribution m i square this is my equation one therefore receive for computing m m square dot dot m n is the following m to the power n that is equals to pi m i to the power n so now we want to calculate the standard deviation what is the definition of standard deviation the sigma it is uh, usually de denoted by sigma it is basically i am sorry uh, it is basically the sum over it is the basically before going into the sum over situation the marks mi individual marks mi is subtracted from uh, subtracted uh, average is subtracted from every marks that is the deviation deviation of the marks and mi mi minus m average and square it and every deviation and sum sum it and take the mean of this divided by n and take the root over and we try to explain this formula compute a deviation from each value from m that is delta i m i my minus m average take the square of the deviation that means delta i square 
that is that is taken here that is taken here that is taken here and take the sum of the div all the division square division sum of the take the sum of the divisions sum of the take the sum of the square division rather sum of the square divisions that is basically this and take the mean of the square division that is 1 by n sum over delta is square and now take the root of the square division which gives you the same dimension as the dimension of m and this should not be this should should be this should not be the square this is this is if we take the root then this is basically sigma m and and this is basically 1 over n sum over i equals to uh, i equals to 1 to n and uh, m uh, if we expand this m i square plus average of m square minus 2 m i sum into m average and if we expand this sum 1 over n i am not writing all the times i equals to 1 to n it is assumed here m i square and the next term is 1 by n sum over m of square this quantity happens n times and 2 2 2 into m i and m average is a constant is comes out of the summation then sum over 1 by n sum over m and this quantity nothing but the m average if you look at this formula it will be easier to you and this is basically m square average plus 1 over n and it occurs n times n into m average square minus 2 into m average square because this is m average and this is also m average m square average that means sigma m the the the, the standard deviation of the marks and that can be written as m square average minus m average square this is popularly known as the mean of squared that means you are taking the taking the mean of the squared marks and minus square of the mean if we write all the definitions in terms of the variable x that is general term in random variable x then it would be look like x average that is equals to the distribution function for x pi times xi and x square average x x square bar that is this and in this way xn can be written as this way and sigma x standard deviation sigma x that is root of x square average minus x average square this should be uh, remembered now sometimes it denoted as sigma x in a physics literatures the root of the deviations that is delta x the square mean root that is mm, uh, most popularly used in some physics literature some physics literature some physics literature it is written here some physics literature some physics books also sigma square is known as the variance sigma is the measure of the scattering uh, scatter of the data scattering of data about the mean value or expectation value or average value now i am giving a, a sum on this d distribution function the problem one a pair of dice distinguishable is tossed once each die can give a score of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Let S denote the total score of the pair of a dice. It is obvious that the sample space S is, is, is the set of integers from 2 to 12. Because uh, just you understand, uh, just think about uh, when our dice is uh, rolled. Uh, what, what will be the sample space write down it write down the set of probabilities ps and what is the most probable value of s and find the mean standard deviation of s and now we turn to our famous d discrete distribution function that is Bernoulli distribution and before going to that we are just giving the basic definitions in many experiments the result is the two possibilities success and failure termed as this way success failure for example the gender of a newborn baby what is that girl or boy suppose the girl is the success and boy is the failure result of an exam pass or fail suppose to fail as a success and pass as a failure whatever you can take 
whatever you can take the covid antibody test either positive or negative if you take positive as a success negative as a failure or negative as a success positive as a failure whatever you call it and you can calculate whatever i am in which side are you on that means that depends on that an event in which the outcome can be either success with an a priori before the event the probability p or the f or failure with the probability a priori probability q equals to 1 minus p such event is called bernoulli trials such event is called bernoulli trials that means two two way thing outcome ke in this way you can write this way the bernoulli trials and here we want they used a priori a priori means it is known before the event okay the random variable x representing the bernoulli random variable here x equals to 1 supposed to be for a given exam the marks is greater than 30 then it is a success that is denoted as 1 and x equals to 0 for exam marks less than 30 therefore x equals to 1 for x greater than 1 in a compact way and if x less than 0 in general x equals to 1 success and the probability of success is p and x equals to 0 failure 1 minus p that is q the probability of failure so what is the prob distribution of bernoulli random variable probability distribution of bernoulli random variable x equals to it can takes two values 1 and 0 and the probability of 1 is p and probability of the random variable getting 0 is 1 minus p that is q and what is the average 1 times p plus 0 times 1 minus p what is x square average 1 square in times p plus 0 square times 1 minus p p what is sigma x the sigma is basically p times 1 minus p now go to formal definition of binomial distribution that is bernoulli trials now i discuss the binomial distribution if we repeat the bernoulli trials n times independently under the same condition or identical condition the resulting probability distribution is called bernoulli distribution let p be the probability that an event will happen in a single bernoulli trial then q equals to that event will happen in a in a in a just uh, uh, the probability that will happen exactly now that the event will not happen in a single trial that means probability will happen probably p is the success and q is the failure probability of failure probably that even will exactly x times my, uh, my what is my question the question is the question is the event will happen exactly x times in a particularly n trials is given by the probability of x that is x, x time the it, it the success happened that means probability of x equals to n c x n choose x or n combination x p to the power x q to the power n minus x and this can be written in a expanded way and now we want to understand what means this what means what exactly exactly uh, it represents consider an example an unfair coin is tossed four times why unfair because if fair coin is tossed then means the probability of head and tail is 50 but that that is not that and uh, let head success probability of head is uh, the probability of getting head is p and probability of taking a uh, tail that is termed as a failure you may not uh, think it this is a failure and this is f equals 0 q equals q that is denoted as q and that is the basically 1 minus p and what are the four times if you s if you toss four times what will be the uh, possible sample space sample space would be 16 2 to the power 4 because it's binary 2 to the power 4 that means i am thinking of a binary number 0 4 digit binary number what will what will be the possible outcomes 0 0 0 0 that means all four as tails tail 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 head tail tail head tail 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 head head tail head tail tail and in this way we can enumerate all these 16 quantities and now my question is what is the probability of getting zero success that means all the quantities all the outcomes are 
failure that means all the outcomes are tail one wh how many of this that is one case and what is the probability of each case 1 minus p 1 minus p 1 minus p and 1 minus p, four times that means the probability of getting x equals to 0 the random variable x represents the probability of zero success that means all the outcomes are failure that is equals to 1 minus p to the power 4 and x equals to 1 that means one hit what will be the what will be that case what will be that case one hit this is the case and one hit this is the case one hit this is the case one hit this is the how many cases one two three four so four times and each case the probability of each case failure failure probability is 1 minus p 1 minus p and success is p and what is the probability of getting exactly one hit that is 4 times 1 minus p times p and what is the probability in this way x equals to 2 that can be written as 6 times and if you enumerate this quantity it will happen exactly 6 times and you just enumerate this this is your and what is that case basically 2 hits this one this one this one this one this one this one one two three four five six and in this way x equals to three that will happen four times and p p p is the probability of success and one minus p is the probability of failure and this is basically x equals to three that means you will exactly get three heads and x equals to fair it uh, it also happens one times and this is p to the power four and this can be written in a very similar way p equals to x equals to 2 that is 6 and it can be written in a compact way 4 choose 2 that means 4 quantity can be chosen out 2 2 quantity can be chosen out of 4 that is 4c2 p to the power 2 and this is written and this is basically the same thing therefore we understand what is the probability distribution discrete mass function probability mass function rather but distribution function p to the power x ncx px q to the power n minus x where p is the probability of success q is the probability of failure n is the number of trials independent trials and x is the number of o number of times the success occur we should remember this that formula and now our routine job is to calculate the mean of the binomial distribution xp and that that is basically np and variance of the binomial distribution is sigma square npq that i want to prove in the how to prove that and how to derive x average equals to binomial distribution here probability mass function or probability distribution function rather probability mass function in a uh, more accurate term ncx p to the power x q to the power n minus x and you know p is the probability of success q is the probability of failure n equals to number of trials and x is the success and x average x equals to 0 to n x p x and x equals to 0 to n x ncx p to the power x q to the power n minus x we and now ncx and we write x times p to the power x can be written as p times del del p of p to the power x p times del del p of p to the power x is p x is comes out p to the power x minus 1 that means x p to, p to the power x and therefore x p to the power x can be substituted as p del del p of p to the power x and p del del p is comes out because changing the order of differentiation and summation which will not affect easily seen from this calculation sum over x equals to 0 to n n c x p to the power x q to the power n minus x and what is that basically basically from the binomial theorem that is p plus q to the power n and if we take the derivative p n comes out p, to p plus q to the power n minus 1 and p plus q is 1 con total probability because total probability p plus q is 1 that means x average is np for a binomial distribution now calculate the variance of the binomial distribution and it is basically x square average minus x average we have already calculated x average x average 
now we want to calculate x square average the recipe is very similar uh, already familiar x, x square times the probability distribution that means x equals to 0 to n x square ncx b to the power x q to the power n minus x ncx and if we write x times p to the power x as p times del del p therefore x square can be written as p times del del p p times del del p p to the power x and if we come if, the, if this operator comes out because if we take the derivative and check it and p plus del del p is square and this can be written as this way and this from binomial distribution binomial uh, theorem p plus q to the power n and we take the derivative operator on this and if you take the derivative operator here and put p plus q equals to 1 it is simple and I am not going to describe after a little bit of algebra if we and you check this by pausing the video and it will be a sigma square equals to npq this is variance on what is standard deviation square root of variance for binomial distribution uh, just give a summary or bottom line is that px ncx p to the power x q to the power n minus x x average is np and sigma square is npq now our next class go to the situation where the probability of success is very small p goes to zero and n tends to infinity is very large what happened to the binomial distribution that will be our next class